So we're gonna multiply the monomial times the binomial. We have some roots involved. I'm gonna use the distributive property. The square root of five is out front of parentheses. So when I take the square root of five multiplied by 12, when you put things side by side, it shows multiplication. So I have 12 square root of five. Then when I take the square root of five multiplied by negative root three, first of all, a positive times a negative is going to be a negative. And then a reminder, when you multiply roots together, you have a root and you multiply their radicands. So in other words, root five times root three is the square root of three multiplied by five underneath the root. Okay, we can go ahead and multiply those together. Three times five is 15. So this is the same thing as minus the square root of 15. I'm gonna bring down 12 roots of five. And then that's all we can do. These are not like terms. Remember the number in front tells you how many of something and what comes after it is the object. So this says 12 roots of five minus one root of 15. Since they're not the same, we can't combine them. Okay, so here's another one. When I multiply the square root of six times the square root of five, distributing that through, we can multiply the radicands together. So we're gonna have the square root of six multiplied by five. But when I multiply the square root of six times 12, to show the multiplication, we're just gonna put those side by side and also positive times positive is positive. And then root six times 12 is 12 roots of six. I can go ahead and multiply the six and five. So this turns into the square root of 30. I'm gonna bring down the 12 roots of six. So if I have one root of 30 plus 12 roots of six, they're not the same, so we can't combine.